What is going on people? My name is Great By The Hour and today in this video we are going to be doing neon photography. I am currently shooting on my phone because me being a stupid idiot, I left my camera at my house. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how I edit neon colors and everything like that in my photography. And we'll just go back to the laptop for right now. So guys, we are just on Lightroom on my laptop right now and I'm going to be showing you how I make neon style edits in Lightroom. So as we can see, I have my friend Anok here. He, um, I'll leave his Instagram down below. He's a really good photographer. He does um, travel photography as well. And I say give him a follow. And I'll also link down his YouTube ch channel as well. So um, enough said, as you can see, most of the image is warm so if you want to cool that down get yeah i like how it's a bit cooler maybe bring up pinks just a bit do like that bring up the exposure so we can actually see the actual image bring down the highlights because too much as you can see the amusement bit gets blown out so maybe around there shadows I'm gonna bring the shadows up a bit. Contrast, bring that up. Add a bit more color. Maybe warm this up just a tad. Yeah, like that. Let's go to camera. Um, the calibration. Bring the greens a little bit closer to here because, as you can see, too much there, too much there. I can't actually see the actual colors, but I do know the look, so I like that there. Add a bit more teal to the oval image let's go to white bring down the whites just a bit oh, yeah bring down the whites a bit blacks i'm gonna crush them a bit clarity bump that up to around 33 let's see how that looks before and after that's looking so much better already dehaze i'm gonna bring that down just a bit give it almost like a dreamy vibe Bring down the texture just a bit because I do want that um, dreamy kind of look, especially with the prism here. So as we can see, it's a little bit softer because I bought down texture. Vibrance, I want to bring vibrance down just a bit and bring down saturation a bit. And then we'll bring back all the major colors back later. So I would, for the tone curve, I'll just put a point here and put a point here, make a simple S curve but I'm going to bring the black point up and around here so it's more of the faded look so without it, that's how it look and then move it very subtle change but it's quite good to use bring the shadows down let's go back up here and bring bump them up just a bit so as you can see bring up the highlights there but bring it down here so that's looking quite nice um maybe the the mid-tones i'm gonna bring them down just a bit just a bit so this is it before that's it after with the tone curve it's looking quite nice now hsl hue saturation and luminance i'm gonna make the red the reds are okay the oranges i'm gonna make them a bit more red the yellows maybe a bit more orange greens bring them more to the aqua side aqua is gonna turn them blue blue turn it a bit aqua i don't want purple actually the purple is looking quite nice gonna turn it to the purple purple gonna make it more pinkish and then pink and maybe more blue here magenta gonna make that more red there we go saturation gonna bring up those blues gonna bring up the purples with um oranges are gonna bring that up just a bit reds yellows greens output is going to be up a bit so we're gonna um, desaturate the warmer tones except from orange and then um, saturate the cooler tones so we go to luminance gonna bring up the red just 
actually, yeah, bring that up just a bit. Out quiz, as you can see, it's bringing up little sections like right here and there. Bring that up just a bit. Blues, if we bring that down, it's gonna um, underexpose the blues. Bring that up. I am liking that so far. So this is before, this is after. Bring that down just a bit. Purples. I'm gonna bring them down just a bit. And the same with magenta, just gonna keep it there. Maybe change the blues just a bit. So that's looking quite nice. So this is before the HSL. And then this is after, just little color adjustments. Now the split toning, I've been using this recently and I really like it. So highlights, I'm gonna make them more orangey. So make, maybe bring them to around here. But actually, if I bring them more to the pinker side, spectrum and then bring this to more the teal around there ish so that's looking really nice bring try find a good balance I am liking there that's looking really good bring down saturation on this pinkish just a bit Case sharpening, yeah, sharpening is good. Gonna bring up noise reduction just a bit. Chromatic aberrations, lens corrections. I was using the Sigma 60 18 to 35, so I'm gonna just put that in. Uh, yep, here. Once that's done, it's gonna correct everything. Level this image off so it's all level. Vignette, everything. I'm going to now use um, the gradient filter bring this up and let's d let's um, bring down the exposure just a bit bring that down bring up the contrast let's just play around with saturation nope I'm gonna bring the saturation up a bit bring up the clarity Crush the shadows. That's something better. Now with this amusement bit, I'm gonna just put a radial filter on it. Just shape it how I want it. Bring on exposure. Invert it. And I'm just gonna play around with the temperature. Just see how I like it. So do I want it cooler? Maybe, yeah, that's, I like that bit. Yeah, contrast. Contrast is looking nice with it. Bring down the highlights just a bit so it's not too in your face. Clarity, that's gonna go up. Saturation, yep. Sharpness, gonna, make, gonna bring down the sharpness just a bit. So it's not overly sharp. We bring down the texture as well. So that's looking quite nice. Now for Anok, we just wanna put a radial filter over him. And with people, um, what I like to do, especially like in the details, like their faces or clothing, I like to um, bring down the contrast so you can see more detail. So just bring down the contrast, you're able to see a lot more then you are able to see without it so if I just go back like that you can see a lot less in his face bring up the shadows make him a bit warmer sharpness make him a lot sharper as well so we're able to see because this image is very busy especially for my style it's a very busy image. Let's go back to this. Let's make it smaller so it just fits in. Boom. Saturation. I'm gonna bring down saturation just a bit. So everything else is basically light in him. Bring the blacks up. Not too much. 
Sharpness, clarity, I'm gonna bring that up as well. And that's Anuk. Maybe to the sides, maybe, I'm not too sure. Um, go to the brush tool, paint here, paint here as well. Bring this down. So we can actually see, so it's nothing's too overbearing. And yeah, this is how I edit my neon shots. So as you can see, you can just, if you want to pause the video and just like, look at what I do, this is basically the general um, aspect. And if I actually make a preset, so go up to the top left corner where it says presets, create preset, um, and name this neon glow. That's looking nice. Also, I'm gonna add one more radial filter and just basically vignette. So go to exposure, bring that down. And that's looking nice. Go to crop, go to four by five, or if I want it to be widescreen, go to this, bring this up. Let's play around with this. No, I actually like it four by five. So yeah, this is how I um, edit neon style images in Lightroom. Hopefully you guys did like this video. Please like and comment down below if you want more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.